uh, I might mention that uh, this has been vetted now for, for many, many months, and I want to applaud the opponents to the ordinance because it was through your testimony when we first tried to model it off San Diego that the 500 feet was just too restrictive. And I agreed wholeheartedly. The board at the uh, direction of Supervisor Wilson said we need to take another look at this, and we did. And, uh, and 30 feet uh, was determined to be a reasonable distance to effectively target residential development. This ordinance does not have any bearing on you going to the entrance of Golden Era and doing your protests. No, no bearing. I think even if you were to not block the entrance to Golden Era, I'm not so sure there would have been any uh, contentious issues with the sheriff had the direction just been followed. Just, you know, don't block the ingress and egress to this facility. Um, so it was a trespassing issue. Um, but that doesn't stop you from continuing any protest in front of that facility. Um, we vetted it. I certainly respect uh, Supervisor Buster's uh, input, but we have had county council collaborate with the sheriff, and there was this inference that, uh, again, that Mr. Alhadef was uh, the tail wagging the dog and getting this thing um, done. And you'll remember that when we have uh, Sheriff, uh, Assistant Sheriff uh, Pete Lebon came up when Mr. Alhadef said, I'm happy to meet with county council to, to work the details out, Mr. LeBond very appropriately said, no, the sheriff department, in the absence of the private attorney, will meet with county council and so that we understand what is being enforced in this ordinance. And they've had that collaboration. And as a result, the sheriff of this county supports what we're trying to do. Um, Ms. Walls, it's been tested. Uh, I believe that there's clarity in, in the ordinance. And I just want you to reaffirm that uh, in your legal views that it is clear and transparent and it does uh, provide the parameters under which a sheriff can very clearly uh, enforce this, this new ordinance that we're entertaining here today. Thank you. This ordinance, a similar ordinance, has been upheld in Klein, has been upheld in Thornburg. Uh, it uh, should satisfy constitutional challenges and muster. Uh, we have worked with the Sheriff's Department. They've asked that uh, this stay in place as a possible tool they can use. If not, with respect to uh, this particular matter, but in other situations that may arise down the road. It, uh, <clears throat> the extent of its applicability to the protests that are going on in front of Scientology now, we have affirmed that it is not necessarily applicable to that situation. Thank you. Supervisor it Wilson. Isn't. Yes, Mr. Chairman, um, as you just got through saying, this has gone through so much revision and so many reiterations. I initially shared uh, many of the concerns that Supervisor Buster had. I understand the opposition, and I understand those that uh, I feel f fearful that perhaps they won't be able to uh, do another Dochitz, uh protest if we adopt this and so forth. And so uh, back about three or four iterations ago, I asked for a six-month bring back and report. And I don't know if that's been lost, but if, if we have a motion to approve this today, I would like a report from the sheriff in six months on how many arrests have been made on this ordinance, not on trespassing or all the things that we saw on the video, but on this ordinance, I'd like a report back of how effective it's been, how it was used, and whether there were problems involved in uh, that enforcement. So if you're going to make a motion to approve, I would like to have that included in the motion. I'll go ahead and make that motion with the uh, recommendations of my colleague, Supervisor Wilson. Please vote. That passes with four. Supervisor Buster dissenting. 